Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to this edition of Tabloid Tarot, where we use tarot and oracle cards to unveil celebrity news stories that might hit the tabloids next. In today's Tabloid Tarot, we're taking a peek at the actress who plays one of the original goth girls on the Netflix show Wednesday. We're tabloid tarotting Jenna Ortega. So let's see what sensational headline we have for Jenna and its implications. We have positivity, growth, adapt, duty, and perspective. I love this perspective card with the bat upside down so that you can see how they see the world when they are going to sleep. Okay, so it seems here that you know, the focus is on change with this, uh, like this Ferris wheel growth um, perspective is upside down. Uh, you have this, of course, positivity. So some type of positive change perspective with this duty, this could be um, responsibilities, it could be, you know, relationships, it could be contracts. So let's explore the juicy details of this story. Okay, so let's take a look at Jenna's history here. We have the Emperor. This is um, like a masculine energy of power, control, uh, authority, and um, a sense of overseeing things. So that's kind of bringing up this uh, duty card for me. So let's see why this matters here. You have the Knight of Wands. So that is kind of like, although these are both cards that um, associate with the element of fire, as does, I believe this duty card does too, or the, the Severus card. I have to double check that. But even though there is this concept of fire for the emperor and the knight of wands, the knight of wands is more um, like carefree into exploring um, adventure, the adrenaline rush, you know, breaking rules. The emperor is more traditional. Um, there's certain, you know, boundaries you need to respect. There's rules that you need to respect. You kind of approach things with um, like a reasonable oversight and not necessarily rush into things. So here it kind of seems that there is, um, you know, maybe there are certain know rules that she had for herself um, and now that she is kind of becoming more in the spotlight um, she is I believe 20 years old and will be 21 next next September so it may be that she is dealing with um, you know this concept of turning a certain age, becoming an adult, being able to drink, party, and uh, perhaps she has certain types of uh, standards, rules that she kind of had for herself that she's, you know, changing. So let's take a look at the focus of this news. We have the Six of 
bonds. So celebration, victory. Um, I saw that she was nominated for, I believe, a Golden Globe Award, um, or at least her show Wednesday was nominated um, for a Golden Globe Award. So it could be that, you know, that she wins that. And it's kind of like, well, is she going to kind of go wild? Or is she going to be more, um, I'm not going to say like stuffy, but just kind of more uh, not have her hair hang loose so much. But there is this positivity card and that hair is pretty pretty dang wild. Okay, so here, let's take a look at some additional details. Ace of Cups. That is a card of happiness, joy, love. I'm going to clarify that and see if it's just general kind of happiness. Um, or if it's more relationship. We have six of pentacles. So it seems like it has to do with, you know, receiving uh, accolades, receiving more money even. Mm. I would say that maybe part of this has to do with the recognition that the show Wednesday has received and this duty could be um, like earning more money as a result of um, like if if there's a season two like a new contract earning more money growing in terms of um, growing in terms of her value and worth and let's see why is this newsworthy here? You have the three of wands. So Jenna is really kind of uh, going far, has, um, is really a, a center of attention and a lot of people want to work with her. Um, there's a lot of opportunities that she could have. Um, and to some degree, you know, it could be that this contract might have to do with like an agency, like a, not just a show and earning more money, but like a, um, an agency that is representing her, um, what are they called? Tal oops, talent agencies. Okay, so let's take a look at Jenna's attitude about this. We have the fool here. So she is, you know, embracing this with open arms, um, open heart, um, no expectations, really just enjoying, um, enjoying life and enjoying, you know, whatever kind of comes her way that she's going to experience. So let's see about any need for damage control. We have the two of pentacles here. So, you know, basically Jenna will be um, able to kind of manage whatever comes her way. She can balance her uh, wants and needs. She's able to be responsible, but also have fun. So that concept of the Emperor and the uh, Knight of Wands. Let's take a look at the external factors influencing how the story develops. We have the King of Cups here. This could be like a parent figure, someone who's caring, um, supportive. It also could be like um, a mentor, like an actor that kind of uh, it shows her something different, takes her under their wing, and 
let's take a look at let's take a look at the likely development for the follow-up we have the magician here so jenna is making magic happen um basically she is coming into a lot of power um maybe she this emperor power in the past was more about certain um ways that she presented herself handled herself and as she's kind of growing um with more um i guess growing in age and growing in her um being recognized um and being eyed as wanting to um be like working on different projects people making money um from her and giving her more money um really she is kind of having the time of her life and it looks like she will continue to take charge and make magic happen when it comes to her her life and her career so thanks for watching this edition of tabloid tarot we'll see you next time Take care.